Jonathan Riches, Justice for Kylan and Crystal. I am in downtown Moab, Utah. Moab, Utah, downtown. This is Main Street. Early morning. Uh, been out here for numerous days trying to find clues, interview people, trying to find out who murdered Kylan and Crystal. Uh, right over there is the Moonflower. What I find very odd here in Moab, particularly downtown here on the Main Street, is you don't see any flyers or pictures of Kylan and Crystal asking the public for help to find their murderer. They're keeping it very, very quiet around here. I, you know, all these telephone poles all around and traffic light poles, nothing. Nothing. Street light poles, nothing. Nobody, no businesses have anything. Uh, posters of them because uh, of them you know uh, asking the public's help and assistance to find out who is responsible for their murders and to help bring them to justice you find none very quiet very quiet around here and I find that odd is it because Moab is a tourist uh, tourist town you know uh, the police chief and the Grand County Sheriff's Office have told me that two million two to three million visitors come here every year uh, it was not a lot last year because of COVID, but normally two to three million visitors come through here, come through here, you know, lots of trucks. This is a tourism spot. So do they just want to keep the murders, you know, silent, keep it under wraps to not let the public know there's a killer on the loose so it doesn't affect their commerce and, um, you know, tourism? That's the question, but I'm down here. I've been talking to a lot of people. We've spoken to a lot of people from the Moonflower to the McDonald's uh, to Swanee Park. We talked to a lot of people. So we got a lot of insight our own selves and doing our own investigations. Hopefully we can uh, narrow down the uh, killer. We have lots of suspects, but I'm out here. My team is out here um, just scanning the area. So we're gonna help uh, bring the people responsible for killing Kylan and Crystal to justice.